of Education now and tonight a new push to let you decide on universal school vouchers. The governor signed a bill that allows any student to access state funds and those funds would go to private schools. Christine Stanwood goes in depth on why some touted as school choice while others want to see it on the ballot. We think that this is going to really be a game changer. Supporters like Matt Bienberg are thrilled empowerment scholarship accounts have been signed into Arizona law heading into the school year. So just the way every student has access to go to a local public school, if they'd like to under this program, now they'll be able to apply for and join the ESA program and use that for at home education, private school, tutoring, any kind of resource that that family thinks would best serve that student. These accounts will provide more than $6,500 per student annually taken from the public school system's funding pool. This new law passed four years after voters rejected a similar initiative. So there was obviously a, um, an initiative a few years ago uh, dealing with this topic and um, one of the big differences between this is, is that legislation that was put forward um, was going to provide access to students, but it, it put things in a lot of strings and regulations. Beth Lewis with Save Our Schools. People all around the state are furious that the governor and the legislature you know, defy the will of voters. Launching a petition Saturday in reaction to the voucher expansion. She's trying to get 118,000 signatures before the law takes effect September 24th and put the issue back before the voters. She joins others who believe the voucher program needs more oversight. The money was allocated this legislative session to our public schools. And we're seeing, you know, great glimmers of teacher salaries going up across the state, um, district by district. And the fear is that if you siphon another billion dollars out of our public schools via vouchers, we're not going to be able to keep up with that. Lewis says this referendum does not impact the current ESA voucher program for students with special needs, military families, and residents of Native American reservations. Now that the ESA program has passed legislation, it takes 90 days to take effect. So on September 24th, families can enroll on the Arizona Department of Education website, but that's only if Save Our Schools does not get enough signatures for their petition. From there, that means that the department would transfer funds into a family's account for their students' education. Reporting in the newsroom, Christine Stanwood, ABC 15, Arizona.